Hello, in this video let's look at how to derive an indirect utility function from a perfect substitutes utility function. Here is our perfect substitutes utility function. Utility is a function of good x plus good y. We're going to note here that the marge utility of good x and the marge utility of good y are just one, and that one is just the coefficient on x and y. The budget constraint here for the consumer, M is money income, equals the price of good X times units of good X, plus the price of good Y times units of good Y. We're going to only buy good X if the marginal utility per dollar of good X exceeds the marginal utility per dollar of good Y, or replacing our marginal utilities with their values, if this condition holds. And that implies that the price of good X is less than the price of good Y. So to recap, if the price of good X is less than the price of good Y, the consumer spends all his or her money on good X and will be able to afford M divided by the price of good X units of good X. So we're going to plug this M divided by the price of good X into the utility function. And this gives us indirect utility. So replacing X here with M divided by the price of good X, that's how many units the consumer can afford. If the consumer buys all of good X, we have the following result. Now, let's assume that the consumer is only going to buy good Y. If the consumer is only going to buy good Y, it implies that the margin utility per dollar of good Y exceeds the margin utility per dollar of good X. Or in other words, this condition holds, which means that the price of good Y is less than the price of good X. So if the price of good Y is less than the price of good X, the consumer spends all her income on good Y and will be able to afford M divided by the price of good Y units of good Y. Now plugging this result into the utility function gives us this indirect utility. So where we have Y, we replace it with M divided by the price of good Y. Now we can bring both results together and write the indirect utility function, which is just the maximum utility received at given prices and income, as the following. So notice if the price of good X is less than the price of good Y, we're just going to have M divided by the price of good X. In the denominator then, the minimum value here is the price of good X, and that hangs around, and we have our indirect utility. On the other hand, if the price of good X exceeds the price of good Y, then the price of good Y will be the minimum value here in the denominator, and your indirect utility will look like that. Alternatively, if the price of good X equals the price of good Y, your indirect utility is either M divided by the price of good Y or M divided by the price of good X, since the prices are the same. Okay, that's it. Hope you found this video helpful.